These three homes all have one thing in common, rats. Lucky for them, they call this out to exterminate the issue out of their homes. And if you stick to the end, you do not want to miss the rats we catch today. 20 pest controllers have actually been to this house and they've all had different opinions. They were tired of it. They called us out. We're about to solve it. How we do it is unknown, but we're gonna do it. You're hearing the activity in, like in a wall or ceiling, right? Uh, yeah, ceiling, mostly ceiling. We've heard lots of activities throughout here. Okay. Uh, throughout here. Um, this is the uh, attic access. Okay. Through here. Okay. Lots through here. Yeah, that, yeah. the hot spot? Yeah, I would okay. say this is the hot spot back Is this where it started? I would say so. Yeah, yeah. okay. Like seven months plus. Okay. Yeah, yeah. almost a year. We had three inspections. Traps. So 20 different people have come yeah. throughout that year? Oh, probably. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, this, that's why we got tired of them, because they're always sending someone different, who has a different opinion of what's going on, and we were just like, okay, like... We've heard we that. Can, we can yeah. keep going on for yeah. like this for months. Right. right. Yeah. Okay. I'll show you our cross base. It's gonna be right here. One's here. Okay. And Perfect. then one's down there. Perfect. Okay. okay. Awesome. Now that we know the details of the issues this home is having, let's set everything up and get exterminating. Let's see what twenty guys have missed here at this house. Twenty. The past exterminators sealed up most of these holes pretty well, but the residents are still having issues with these rats. So something is going on. <laughs> we just started the smoke machine. And look at, we're already getting smoke coming out of this attic fan here. Okay, we're getting smoke. guys have been traveling down this pipe right here this is a runway and then right here whoa look at all the droppings gross those are some big big droppings now let's head back outside to the roof and start looking for some holes all right so we're gonna go ahead and remove this cap this and conduct another smoke test pest controllers if you guys are doing excuse work and you see a pipe like this it doesn't yeah it doesn't come up come all the way up through the roof You've got to be able to screen that off. You don't just screen this off. You right. screen that off and this. Oh yeah, you can see all the rat right there. Yeah, see all see the, the rat grease? See all the sebum right here? Look at that. All of that is the markings. So if whoever did this exclusion work, if they would have done that and inspected this properly, they wouldn't have had 20 technicians and been dealing with this for seven months. Smoke! That guy, we'll hire him to fight rats. All right, it's a big, big pitch here. Here's what I found. Look at that, they missed. Wide open. All right, so we're gonna head under the crawl space, do an inspection there. He slithered like a little snake. See if you can see evidence of any droppings or anything. There's some droppings. Huh? There's some droppings right here. There is? Yeah, a little bit. There's a trap. And a trap? Yeah, well, here's a trap, an old one. Absolutely worthless. I'm just gonna pack that, close that off, and see if we get any other smoke for right now. Underneath that bathroom? Any other smoke on that side? Nothing over there? No, no problem. Okay. Pretty clean down there, too, right? Yeah. Okay. A few moments later. All right, you can see right there the rat grease. So if you're up in an attic, especially if you're a pest controller, these are some of the signs you guys need to look for. If you see a lot of this heavy sebum grease marks, this should give you the clue that they were coming down this pipe right here, jumping onto the HVAC system, and then getting up into the attic. So it's all about putting the puzzles together. Well done, Columbo. All right, so we're gonna inspect above that bedroom that Michael was telling us about. Any droppings or? Uh, droppings, yeah, there's some. Very healthy eaters. Very, very healthy eaters. Oh, here's a nest right here. I see a burrow. I think I see a dead rat. All right, we're gonna go ahead and grab that rat that's in that trap.
Good riddance. Now it's time to head out of the crawl space and let's talk to the client and let him know what we found. We figured it out. Okay, awesome. We figured it out. This is what they were doing. They were, you have an open pipe. Two holes that we found above your crawl space vent. <clears throat> this is the main entry point wow. right here. Wow. See the rat grease? Yeah. So what they did is they excluded that up on the roof, but they left gaps. Th this was improperly installed. It wasn't penetrated all the way through. Got yeah, it. these vents need to terminate past this past vent the here. Roof line. Got it. So the city sewer rats, they, they climb up and then they sneak between the pipe gotcha. and the roof and get in your attic. Get in your attic. Wow. All right, guys. So Michael decided to go with us just, just to stop the rats from coming in right now. They're not on a budget to do all of the actual work. So the team's up there right now doing some wire mesh just so we can stop the rats and then Dave's setting up the monitoring camera along with our trap. So we'll just get some wire mesh here and then we're gonna foam. We've got wire mesh here and we'll set some foam inside here. Exclude those two holes that we found over there and then also do the roof. And I know a lot of you guys are probably questioning, well, if you're covering that, why are you covering this? Well, if there's any live rats that are in there, we don't want them to get it away. We want them to hit our trap. So that's why it's imperative to exclude around the perimeter of the pipe. We're gonna add some oil inside this pipe here so it gets a little slippery for these rats to prevent them from climbing up. Okay, we've got all that excluded. So there it is, guys. You have the proper skill set, proper knowledge, the proper equipment to be able to come in here. We knocked this out literally in 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Didn't take 20 of my guys to come out. Meanwhile. Right, I wonder what David's doing. David, what are you doing? You know, you guys get so bored just set traps up in an attic. We know that these are the Norway rat. They're coming in from the city sewer. So I'm gonna take our twin traps and check out what I do. I think this will be interesting. If I can catch a rat with what I'm about to show you, I'm gonna consider myself one of the best rat trappers in the world. Check it out. So I'm making a little ladder inside the sewer pipe for the rats to climb up. And then I'm gonna set this up like that. So they're gonna climb up, stick their heads in to get the bait. I don't know, what do you guys think? Absolutely ridiculous. Only time will tell. All right guys, there's Dave's contraption here. Solid. Post in the comments, Dave, brilliant, Dave, waste of time. I don't no. care what anybody says. If I catch a rat, I'm claiming myself as the world's best Norway rat catcher. Okay, we're gonna set up the monitoring camera. Is up already? Actually pretty smart. Yeah. The next day. So it looks like I caught one in that sewer. We're gonna send Raul to pull that bad baby out. Check it out. Looks like you got one. We are now heading to the second job to defeat these rats. Basically from here to where the chimney is, the chimney is somewhere over here. It's, okay. it's, I mean, they're all up in there everywhere, but you know, there's a lot of their oils and stuff. When was the last time you heard them? Oh, yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Time to head to the roof. Okay, so the attic space starts about right there. And it's all of this. They're on a septic tank, so a lot of times won't we'll get the smell. This is sealed up. We got all these oak trees that limbs are hanging over the the roof here. Very easy for them to climb and get up on this roof. Oh look at this. Oh, oh look at that hole. And there's a lot of rat markings down there too. You can see the insulation there's kind of compacted. So this is definitely, let's take a sniff on this one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well that didn't take too long. All right, let's go down in the attic now. Oh, droppings over there. Huh? Like a dead rat up here, huh? Yeah. Here's the dead rat we're smelling. And then there's that hole that I found on the roof. So the bathroom's over there where you were first yeah. inspecting. You hear a lot there and then down in the crawl space. So let's go get the crawl space ready. So you can see the neighbors got poison bait boxes. I guarantee the rats are coming up. That's how that rat died in this attic here. Every single one of those traps deployed. I 
this is the bathroom that they're getting a ton of activity. Let's take a look. See if we can identify the runways from the attic down to here. Yeah. I don't see any droppings here. So most of the activity is going to be in that attic. Another dead rat. Let's get this bad baby out of here. You can see their runways right here. These dark areas on the concrete. Uh, yeah. Let's head back to the roof to fix these holes. This will support our foam. like to take a little peanut butter and put it up in here so when their noses go in to get all of this bait boom it activates our twin traps much much faster okay so we found another dead rat removed some of the contaminated insulation found a live rat it went down the wall let's take a look up here okay so for the attic area we've got our camera that's monitoring both of these traps right here i do have a lot of luck placing my rat traps along the sort of the bottom of the air conditioning unit. Just gives them a little bit more sense of uh, security. Um, I typically just leave one rat trap, but when there's juveniles, I like to leave multiple. But if there were no juveniles, you know, one rat trap's fine, because if there is two or three adults up here, you're gonna have to get up here immediately remove the rat. So we're just removing some of the contaminated insulation, but we're not vacuuming or doing our enzyme treatment today. We want to leave the pheromones. We want to get rid of these rats. Once we confirm that there's no more rats, then we can come in here, HepaVac, and do our enzyme treatment. But as of right now, we're just going to get ahead of the game and get rid of some of this uh, contaminated insulation and just leave the drywall here. Much easier to vacuum up. We'll set this one in the garage and the one in the crawl space. All right, so we got some bunnies, pets in here. All this food does attract rats. That's nice work there, you see that? All completely screwed in, closing in on them. Okay, so I've got my camera here pointing down to this area right here. That'll be the last trap, crawl space. Another camera here. Let's set it into place here. What a beautiful shot. Look at that. All right, let's go inspect the roof. Make sure this is all sealed up. All right, got that all done. This done. Nice. We're good, Victor. We'll be catching something here in the next 48 to 72 hours. Just a waiting game now. This is where it gets exciting. We never know how many rats we're gonna catch. Now, one of the big takeaways here is, if you notice, I set our camera and a rat trap in the crawl space. Why? Because there was evidence of activity. I set another one up in the garage, again, because there's evidence of activity. Two of them in the attic area because there's more activity in the attic. So we've set four rat traps in each location. Setting your rat traps in each location is way more important than setting 15, 20, 30, 40 rat traps in some of these areas that I'm seeing, like attics. So, uh, be mindful of that. The more rat traps you set in place in one area is doesn't mean that you're going to catch all of the rats. It just means that you may catch less, especially those big smart ones. You gotta be careful. Those rat traps are going off and you're not catching them, they're flipping over, they're scared. All of those other rat traps you, you set up and activated, they're, I, I've seen rats just take off and they'll die they know that that's danger. You gotta check out this video here. Uh, this is a job where we set up one rat trap and we discovered 15, 20 juvenile rats. That's when you can set up multiple rat traps in one location. Juvenile rats are so much easier to catch. All right, enough talk. Let's see what we're gonna get here. The next day. Okay, about 38 hours later, we caught another two. So let's get them out of here. As you can see, it takes uh, three guys here to remove a rat. Because it takes a village. Oh, 
because of our bait tugger, we're nailing him right on the head. <laughs> we did see a hawk sitting up at the uh, telephone wires there. So what we're gonna do is take these rats, we're gonna throw them in the field and see if he's hungry for these rats this morning. <laughs> Again, another headshot. We're ready for number two here in the garage, but very, very, very challenging when you have pets, pet food in here. It's, uh, this could be going on for another week or so. If I don't decolonize in the garage, I'm just gonna have to let the homeowners know that all the pet food's gotta get removed out of this garage so we can get them out of here because look at how many how much contents are in here, and you never know where they're nesting here. And that's why the cameras are super, super important. Now it's time to head to our third and final house. All right, we're heading to our third job now, guys. This guy, Sam, has been dealing with rats for over seven to eight months, had two pest control companies. He's heading on vacation. He says, Jim, is there any way you guys can fit me in? So we're fitting him in. Let's see what we can do to solve it for Sam. Here we go. Hey, Dave. Hey, Jim. Job number three. This is what happens when you take on too many jobs, guys. Yeah. I'm excited, fired up, ready to go. So this next job, Sam's been dealing with rodents in his attic, hearing them, and hired several pest control companies with no success. Apparently, they've sealed all of the exterior but something's going on. So we're gonna get up on the roof, we're gonna do our smoke test and figure this out for Sam. He's got vacation, so it's super important that we get this done before he leaves on vacation so these rats stop all of the destruction. Customers are no show, so let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How was your workout? Good? It was good, yeah. Sorry awesome. I was so sweaty. Oh, no worries. Get your workout Um, Y'all set up, right? Yeah, we're, we're, we're ready to go. We don't mess around. Okay. What, what? I've had three people come out so far. They all kind of say the same thing, that the people who, like, patched everything up did a good job, as I mentioned on the call. Uh-huh. But I still hear stuff, and so, I don't know. And so, good. the last three people over what type of span? Uh. The work got done last year. They've consistently sent people out. And then in the past, I would say month, I've had two other companies come out. Okay. Um, and they said the same thing, like, we don't know. They look going. around and all that, okay. Yeah. So someone was like, maybe it's not in the attic, but in the space in between. Okay. Oh, I was like, what is it? Have um, they found droppings inside the attic? They found them, but they said that they're old. Um, but no fresh, they're saying that they're they not They said they hadn't seen super fresh ones. Okay. Let me just get up in this attic. Yeah, this part's been excluded, Jim. I like how they used uh, concrete. Let's go do a rodent sniff test. Yeah, the roof's tight. Roof's tight. Tight. For sure, they did a good job sealing this up. Time to head to the attic. Oh, really? Yeah, there's a rat. Oh, great. So they're not old, you've got entry points. Okay. Uh, that's a nice shot. See how he came in from the front. I don't know where this was uh, placed, but. All right, so I see a suspect area already. That black pipe right there, straight ahead. Just like the last job that we showed you guys. See, it doesn't terminate up. Look, look, I even sealed this up right here. So just like the first job in this video, you guys, same thing, they're missing this. So I'm, I'm hoping that every pest controller watching our channel, that this right here is gonna give you amazing insight. The exclusion work was done pretty good here. Just miss that, look at that. Look at it, and they chewed the, look at this guys, they chewed the roofing paper to get down into the attic right there. Very dirty, they're gonna get down into the look at that. Greasy, greasy, greasy. You can actually take bacon and absorb that and cook it in bacon. And now it's time to pull that smoke machine out. I'm gonna crawl all the way back here, Jim, and then I'll tell you guys when to hit the smoke. Okay, bud. Definitely some activity here. I see a pipe right here. Hit that smoke. Perfect, mijo. Yeah, just keep it off. I'm getting smoke. And there's some, some rodent droppings here too. 
right by this pipe here, Jim. So they're definitely coming out of here as well. Found two openings, that's why it's important. Never make assumptions. Plug up, keep running that smoke. For those of you that feel sorry for me, don't because I'm gonna be on a yacht next week. I'm gonna be on a beautiful beach in my beautiful beach home. If you wanna know more about that and you wanna see that, let me know, leave in the comments. Sorry, dude. Your family is no longer going to occupy this space any longer. So we're getting smoke over there. So we're going to move the smoke machine back over to that three inch and see if we have any breaches over there. Sweaty. Guys, I just want to take a moment here. These masks here that are carbon, they're absolutely amazing. We used to go with the 3M and these are incredible. Way masks. better than the N95s for yep, sure. Made by Moldex. We're not sponsored, which is super stoked. Okay, Sam, we found your issue. Okay. We have a sewer rat issue. So we did the smoke test, mm -hmm. wide open pipe. Okay. So when they did maybe the renovation, they failed to cap that off. Okay. But that needs to be addressed because the sewer rats are coming up through there and dumping into your attic. And then the second breach, so they did that. The other guys, they wired meshed it. Mm -hmm. And then, but here's the problem. See that pipe right there? Mm -hmm. It's, and they've chewed, the, the rats, rats chewed chew through, through the, the paper, dumping into the mm -hmm. attic. This pipe right here should have been extended all the way to the outside. Oh, so that they don't have access to the, yeah. so they chewed through the roof? Yeah, they chewed yeah, through, they the, chewed roof through the roof and got dumped into the attic. That's yeah. the main, this is the main, main cause right there. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and properly exclude this. We're gonna wire mesh around the pipe, get all that excluded, and then we're gonna add, the customer doesn't wanna spend any money right now at this point to extend it out to the roof, which technically it should be, but we're just gonna wire mesh there and wire mesh around here so the rats don't escape. We can start trapping tonight if there are any remaining rats, so. <laughs> That is proper exclusion right there. Okay, so Dave's in the attic right now. We still gotta fix that two inch line in the laundry. Dave's getting a rat trap set up here in the front lawn. Check him out. He loves rat trapping. I had to take an orc and snap trap and put it on steroids. So you can see I cut down this feed plate all the way down to this. I loaded up my peanut butter way back here like that. Time to slide on the twin trap hoodie. Now we're gonna secure it down to our bait station. Dave now is the Orkin man. Once this is secured down, we're ready to set this trap. There we go. Now that is an Orkin snap trap on steroids. All right guys, so that laundry back there that Dave found, we're gonna put this studer vent in here. So we'll cut that pipe and uh, add this, this will help from sewer gases as well. Cause again, going up through the roof, that's a pretty big undertaking and it just doesn't want to do that right now. So this is a great temporary way, but also longevity as well. All right, Raul's ready to go up guys. He's sweating, it's hot, he's dreading, but that's why we pay him the big bucks. <laughs> he's cutting away. A lot of people think that uh, cinnamon is a deterrent, but it's actually an attract attractant. So we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle some inside this area here. And then what we like to do is, we could just blow it like this. Get the aromas going, kind of lure them in here. But look, when you do a good job sealing everything up, you don't really need to do this, but just wanted to show you more importantly that the cinnamon here which this trap has which is the victor trap and then we set up the orkin trap with no cinnamon so let's just see what they're attracted to be interesting we'll put them uh, side by side here good, good morning, morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> what you guys up to this morning just oh, praising, praising the word. preaching the word trying to reach yeah. these people's hearts nice. sometimes it's hot <laughs> It's hard and hot, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, hard and hot. But what What do you guys, what, what are you, you, Jehovah? We're Jehovah's Witness. Okay. Do you mind if I ask you a quick question? Ask me any question you want. We are rat exterminators. Right. So do you think killing rats is a sin? No. Okay. <laughs> they are vomits. They carry disease. 
<laughs> okay. So we're good. So we're you, not being you, sinful. You, you, you good. Okay. Yeah. Anything calls your help. You gotta get rid of them. Gotta get rid of them. I love it. I love it. Okay. <laughs> it's now the second day, and we just got a call that Sam heard some traps going off. All right, we caught two more rats up in the attic. Let's go pull the first one out. You won't believe. Did they hit the cinnamon or the orkin trap? You're about to find out. And let's just be clear here now. Let's say if they did hit the orkin trap, it's technically a twin trap, right? Leave in your comments. Congratulations, orkin, for assisting with catching this big boy. All right, we're headed back up. We'll feed this to the hawks. So we're headed back to the second job, caught another rat in the attic. Boy, this has been a rat catching episode on these three jobs. All right, so the big takeaway in this episode is when you're doing those inspections, make sure that those vents terminate above those flashings and the problem will be solved. Guys, so unfortunately, YouTube is forcing us to do all of the blurs. We cannot show the rat trap. So please join our membership because you get to see the video footage first on Friday before anybody without ads or any censorship. But these jobs for sure deserve the rat dance. Do it again. Another successful rat extermination. Job solved. We will see you on the next one.